What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army, yo, so Pete, I already did my video for the day, and I gotta push that joint to tomorrow, because, of course, when some news, some information come out, your boy gotta get in front of the camera and let y'all know, so with that being said, Army, make sure y'all go ahead and smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and Hulk Hogan leg drop that like button for your boy, because again, Army, myself and my boy Dylan, we got our wrestling channel. Content is about to start picking up. And this is a new channel. Something brand new. Something fresh army. Podcast style. YouTube shorts. Clips. What's going on? Jay Uso just won the IC championship last night. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Is he the Jeff Hardy of the Hardy Boys? Let's talk about it. But we going to get to that. Make sure y'all click the link in the description section below, Army, to subscribe to the new wrestling channel. Again, myself and my boy Dylan Army, we about to run it up. We about to run it up. Now, of course, we know we got the Travis Scott ones this week. Plenty of raffles have already went out. And I did mention that in the video that I recorded earlier today, Army. The Travis Scott raffles are up. I'm on my year. Social status, APB, and clothing, SVN. Like, it's a couple of them out there. Showing that the stock should be hefty. Hopefully we do see that 150,000 pairs like everybody's been saying. We gonna get. That's a lot of pairs. And again, Army, it was more pairs of the Travis Scott medium olives than it was for like the I'm on the year threes and fours. Again, I know that for sure. So we gonna see what's to it on Friday, y'all. But let's go ahead and talk about the news. That your boy was sent on IG. I'm chilling, Army. Video already done. About to come up in here and, you know, take some pictures for the gram. You know, post some, you know, some sneaker content. And um, I get a DM, a couple DMs from members of the Army. And they like, yo, so Savvy made a post. Now, Army, again, we take this information with a grain of salt. But so Savvy has been spot on with a couple other you know, release drops and things of this nature. I want to say the Era Jordan 3 Black Cements, the Shattered Backboard ones, like, they were right. So it's not like, you know, they've been giving out information and it hasn't been accurate. So we're going to go ahead and say that, but we're going to also still, you know, take things with a grain of salt. Of course, as days go on, we'll get more information. But according to them, initially slated for October, the release of the Air Jordan 1 High, Black Toe Reimagine has been pushed back to 2025, Army. Delayed to 2025. Now, yes, there are early pairs out here. Yes, there are legit early pairs out here. Yes, there are not legit early pairs out here, Army. So, with that being said, what is this going to do to the market? And the crazy thing is, Army, I was going to move my size 11. <laughs> I called my boy Z up. I'm like, bro, I was going to sell my size 11. If y'all want to go ahead and check out the review on these joints, Army, the full detail review, make sure y'all go ahead and do so, man. Go ahead and do so. I've said it once. I've said it twice. I've said it three times. I feel like this is the best Air Jordan 1 reimagined that we have gotten. And Mr. Unloved Ones has... You know, provided some updates on the UNC Air Jordan 1 Reimagine Army and a couple other Air Jordans. And I'm going to touch bases on that with y'all later on this week. But how do y'all feel about that? The Reimagines push back. Now, I honestly feel like, Army, this is going to be the start of what's to come. We've already kind of felt like, man, we getting too much. We've already got like, what, six or seven cancellations from Holiday that was supposed to be dropping holiday 2024. If you want to see what the Air Jordan 3 Brown Cements would have looked like, check out my video that I posted yesterday, Army. But yeah, the pushbacks, the delays, the cancellations, they have begun. And it's crazy for y'all to go ahead and throw these into 2025. Like, I'm taking a couple notes, Army. We gonna, we gonna get to some of my notes, but, you know, for y'all to push them back to 2025, first and foremost, these aren't even fan favorites. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would hear more of an uproar if it was like the Lost and Found Chicago. We know those are the fan favorites. If those were delayed and pushed back, mugs would be upset. We already know that. But these, we already know it's kind of like a, man, a 70-30 a between the community not liking them and the community do like them. 
or 60 40 but it's really more heavy on the side of the community not rocking with these joints army and i feel like because of that they don't care <laughs> and on top of that don't forget we got the unc reimagines dropping next year too so enough with the overshadowing you know what i'm saying like y'all overshadow some of the sneakers the black cat threes dropping and then we get the black cat fours like why let one shine Oh, and let the other one shine later army for real for real like like let the shoes get a chance to shine the uncs and these dropping the same year i don't think is a good idea at all also on top of that and lastly army those who wanted these they already got them like i seen a couple people at sneaker con were selling pairs Pairs have been out early for about a week or two, Army. So, so it's not like you didn't have access to get in these joints if you really, really wanted them. Some people, of course, is going to wait, you know, for release day because, yeah, you would have been able to get them for retail. Like, real talk. Prices already are dang near retail on certain sizes. Certain sizes are still up, but most sizes are dang near retail plus tax. You know, so with that being said, if these are truly pushed back, if these are truly pushed back, do you think the market is gonna stay the same? Do you think the price is gonna slowly start to go up? Do you think people are gonna start trying to buy pairs now because they're hearing that it's a rumor that these are being pushed back now? We are less than a month away from the release. Less than a month. So again, Armin, this could be 50-50. This could be 50-50. I'm not saying that this is 100% true. I'm just giving y'all the information that's out there. But again, it could be true. So with that being said, now that you do know that certain pairs are out there, grab your size if you want them. And those who are selling pairs, will they stop selling them now? Because we don't know exactly when these will be dropping in 2025. It's just saying delay. So delay until when? January? February? March? April? May? June? July? August? September? October? November? December? We don't know how far back these are being pushed. So I don't know, Army. Again, I can see two things happening. I can see people stop selling the pairs to see what the market do. Or you got consumers now trying to get the pairs early because they don't know when they're going to drop next year. So let me know what side of the fence you on. Because I feel like you still got people across the street. They ain't even on the side of the fence. They just looking at the people over here like, how y'all like these? These ain't got the wing logo. Like, Muggs is really mad that these ain't got the wing logo, Army. Like, for real, for real. But this is the prototype. This is the first. This is the first. Some people don't even know Tinker Hatfield didn't even make this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Peter Moore. But with that being said, Army, you got the Air Jordan 1, Black Toe Reimagined, potentially pushed back to 2025. What move you gonna make? Let your boy know that in the comment section below. And if you have made it this far, Army, again, the merch is in the air. The new merch is in the air. Remain <laughs> humble, Army. Stand strong like always. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. I'm Breakable Army, stand strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and of course remain humble. And we out. One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. Now, Army, I had to jump back in front of this camera because my editor is currently editing the video. I'm, I'm still waiting on to get the part that I already filmed. But my bro Twizzy hit me up. Shout out to my boy Twizzy. And he was just like, bro, please tell me this ain't true. I'm like, bro, video already done. He was just like, man, the price is low. Maybe I need to make my move. Tell y'all, Army, make that move if y'all like them. But then again, y'all should already have them if y'all like them if the price was right. My thing is, we know how fickle the sneaker community is. Now that these are potentially being pushed back to 2025, now people gonna just start grabbing pairs. Now people, them, I, I'm telling y'all, Prior <laughs> to me jumping in front of this camera right now, like an hour, hour and a half ago, those joints were like $20, $30 cheaper. I'm telling you, most of the sizes were dang near at retail. I'm seeing sizes going up to $250. Like the bigger size, like a size 11 was dang near at $200 even. It's at like $225 now. So with the news getting out, I don't know if people panic buying. I don't know if resellers is picking up pairs. Again, we don't even know the whole truth. It's just a lot of rumors. Somebody said it was the, the, the new Nike CEO is saying that he wanted to push it back or it was because of the new Nike CEO that's pushing these back. I can't 
fathom why it would be this particular shoe, you know, unless they want to do more for it. Like, I'm not going to hold y'all. I already said, like, yes, the packaging is dope. But, like, what's up with the merch? Like, y'all could have went crazy on these. Y'all could have went dumb crazy. I'm talking about posters. I'm talking about the fit that Mike wore. Like, y'all could have went crazy with these. So, again, Army, you know, take it for what you want. This could be 100% true. This could be half true. This could be, you know, all oh, just a rumor. Take it for how you want. But y'all know how it is in the sneaker community, man. Until, you know, the information is 100% solidified. And it's not like Nike gonna come out and be like, hey, man, this is a statement from, you know, your Nike CEO saying that the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe reimagines are being pushed back because of this. This Like, we're not gonna get that. But that's how it is, Army. You know, we're gonna see... But that's how it is, Army. We're going to see how it plays out in the end. So let that be your, you know, your final decision whether or not y'all going to grab y'all's. Again, I'm going to hold on to mine. I'm going to keep mine, man, just in case it's true. If it ain't true, then bam. You know, we got the joints dropping next month. If it ain't, we got to see when they drop it. All right, Army. Let y'all catch y'all later as well. I want to show y'all this Humble merch, man. I want to show y'all the Humble merch. I'm. Uh, we going to wait on it. We going to wait on it, Army. Catch y'all soon. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.